Hi, Excel on Mac users. In this video, I'll show you how to create a hyperlink and I'll show you two different ways we can do it. One using the insert hyperlink command and the other one with a function called hyperlink. So let's start with inserting a hyperlink. Now let's say we want to go to the website. We want to go to uh, Google and we want to insert a hyperlink for that. You go under insert. Let me press return. You go under insert link and we want to go to a web page or file www.google.com click ok and now we have our blue font and the underline usually indicating a hyperlink if i click on that you notice that it opens up a web page one on your default browser and it goes to google right now the other way that we can do this with a keyboard shortcut if we didn't if we wanted to do it quickly so we have, uh, let's type in maybe Bing this time. And you can see that it looks like there's a hyperlink there, but it's not there, right? It just kept the default uh, font color and that underlying, we can delete that. We go under edit and clear, and we can clear formats and it'll delete that formatting. Now, the other way I mentioned to bring up the hyperlink is to use the command K button. You can see here, if we go to insert and under hyperlink, it has command K. That's the keyboard shortcut. If I do command K, it's gonna ask me for that. I'll just type in www.bing.com, click OK. And if I click on Bing, it's gonna open up the browser and go to Bing, right? So that's the way we can insert a hyperlink to website. How about what's something within this worksheet? Now I've got a cell down here and A50, all I need to do is press Control K. Let's use, use the keyboard shortcut again in this document. And I'm in the main worksheet. I'll just type in A50, press return. It also gave me the default name. Let's change that. Right click, edit hyperlink. Let's call it something different. We'll call this one. Uh, we'll just call it A50 on this worksheet. Click OK, and we have that. If we click on that, it takes us all the way down to A50 on the worksheet, right? So that's where, where we can do a hyperlink. If we wanted to go to a different worksheet, Control K, we want to go to somewhere on that worksheet. I just need to click that, and let's use a different text to display. We'll say Sites Worksheet. Click OK, and it will say that. Click on that, and it's going to go to this Sites Worksheet. You can see now that's highlighted and we have this content there. Let's go back our, to our main worksheet. You can also do email. If I press Command K, we can have an email address. I'll just make up some email address. I don't know, uh, help at yahoo or yeah, yahoo.com, customer service, right? Click OK. It's going to give you this mail to. And so if someone clicks this, it will open up your default mail application. And on the subject, put customer service. If I click on this, it's going to open up some default. I don't have it set here, but it will open up a default, your default mail client. It'll let you get started to create email. Let me quit this. I don't need that. And this last one, if I want to open up a different file, I can actually do that. So, Command K, let's go to a different file. I'm going to look for the file. I have a file here called Open Me. Click Open, OK, and I'm not going to change the uh, display text. If I click on that, it's going to open up that file that I have, and it just says Hi, right? Close this. Now, one thing about this is that if you have this particular file on a different location, you can see that if I bring up Finder, this file is in the same folder that I have my Mac hyperlink, this particular file that I'm showing. If I have this file on somewhere else, then it becomes a little problemat problematic. Let's show you an example. So if I put, we'll close this down. Let's take this OpenMe file and move it to the desktop, right? Let me bring go come back to my my Mac file. 
right? And so this shouldn't work because we, now we've moved it and it's going to ask us where it is. Well, it tells us that we can't open it. Go back to edit it, right click, let's edit this hyperlink. And we are going to find it. Now it's not here anymore. Let's go to the desktop. And now we find it on the desktop, click open. And you can see now it's giving you a different address. These are basically the, uh, the folders that it has to go back. If I close this, I'll show you what it looks like. These are the folders that have to go back to find that file. Click OK. If I hover over this, you can see that's a long list of folders that has to go up. It has to go up to desktop, Camtasia, users to find that file. Now, if I click on that, now it's going to open it, right? And if we move this file, if I go to Finder, if I move this, oh, let me close this. If I move the file around a lot, I always have to change the link. And probably for best practices, you want to have that file that you are opening in the same folder where you have your Excel file, where you're referencing it. Because if you decide to share this with someone, it's going to be easily, more easily referenced. You won't have that broken link. Let's move this file back. And if I go back into my Excel folder or my Excel file, right click, edit, hyperlink, and select and change it back to reference the file within the folder, I see all those, all those different uh, slashes and dots, periods disappear. I click OK, and I'm fine here. And you can see if I open this, it's going to open it fine. And let's say I close this. Let me close this, save it. And I decide to move my folder somewhere else. Let's move it to the desktop. And now when I open my Mac hyperlink file, and I still open this, it should work because I moved my whole folder and that reference to that file is still within that folder and the links don't get broken. So that's one thing to pay attention to if you're referencing other files, better to have it in the same folder. Now, let's see what we can do with the hyperlink function. So, so with hyperlink, all you need to do is type equal hyper and click on that. Oops, I don't know what C for. The link location. So for hyperlink, we're going to have to type it in quotes. We'll have HTTP, HTTP colon slash slash and www.bing.com. Close quotes. Friendly name, what do we want to get our display name? We'll call it Bing. We'll also have to put that in quotes, Bing. And press enter. And you've got Bing. I click on that. It's going to open up bing.com on my browser. Let me close that. Now, within the worksheet, what we need to do is a little bit more. So if I type hyperlink, whoops, hyperlink, double click that. And within the parentheses, open double quote, and I need to type in the file name, which is mac-hyperlink. And I have to include the file extension, which is .xlsx. Oh, I forgot. I have, to I have to enclose this within brackets, so square brackets. Enclose that within square brackets. And include the worksheet name, which is main, followed by a exclamation mark or a bang, and then a50, which is my cell. That is a lot to type. Then close double quotes. Then the friendly name, I'll just call it A50, and enclose that in double quotes. Press enter. Now I've got A50, click on that. It takes me down there to A50, right? So that is actually a lot to type when you think about it. Now, if we wanted to take it to a different worksheet, like the sites worksheet, which I did here, we do the same thing. We do equal hyper, hyperlink, double click that, Get rid of that and do the same thing we do Mac open uh, brackets Mac dash hyper link dot XLSX close bracket now we call it sites pound sign or um, exclamation and we'll just choose the first cell a1 close quotes 
and we'll, I'll just call this one sites. Close, close, double quotes, press return. If I click on sites, it's going to take me to my sites worksheet there, right? Go back to main. Now, if we want to do email, we can also do that. Hyperlink, press tab. I'll just to complete that. And here, we're going to use the mail to function or the mail to text colon slash slash help at yahoo.com. And I'm not going to include the uh, subject customer service. I'll just do comma. And I'm not going to use the uh, subject text comma friendly name. I'll just call this Yahoo in quotes. Press return. We have Yahoo there. Click on that. It's going to open up the mail client. Quit. We don't need that. Now, I'm not even going to do this one with the file because when you think about doing it, now using the hyperlink function, if we wanted to hyperlink to a file, that probably would be kind of a nightmare because when you think about it, if I hover over this, that is the file that you would have to type in for the hyperlink function. And it's just much easier using the insert hyperlink function rather than using the hyperlink function and typing all that in. So why would we want to use the hyperlink function? Well, let's go here. Let's have an example where we want to do that. If I had a bunch of names and URLs and I just kind of wanted to lock to use this particular thing as a list or table, and I didn't want to keep on inserting the URL, I just wanted to kind of put it in there. I just wanted to type the URL, maybe www.google.com, and this one was, oh, you can see that Excel has automatically um, put that in there, and I didn't want to do that. Let's turn that off. If we go under Tools and we go under Autocorrect, we can actually turn off the uh, hyperlinks. Check that. X, and let's delete this, www.google.com. It thinks, you might think that you still have the hyperlink, but you don't, because if I click that, it doesn't go anywhere. It just keeps that blue font. Let's clear that. We'll go under Edit, Clear, and Clear Formats, All right? So I'll do www.facebook com and I can use the hyperlink function here equals hyperlink click on that delete that and I have to put this in quotes HTTP colon slash slash and now I'll close quotes here and I'm going to concatenate that with cell B2 so it's going to have it's going to add HTTP colon slash slash with www.google.com. And now all I need to do is indicate the friendly name, which is Google here. Close parentheses, press return. And I'll have Google. If I click on Google, it's going to take me to the Google site, right? I'll do the same. So now let's say, for example, I'm just going to replicate this all the way down. And then we'll pretend that this is just a bunch of different sites in the URLs. All I need to do is double click the fill handle or drag the fill handle down. I just drag the fill handle down and it copies everything, right? So I just go to Facebook here. It's going to open up the Facebook site. And so that's one way that you can use the hyperlink function is if you're doing kind of something wholesale where you've got site and URL and you just wanted to kind of copy down the linkages, it takes you there. But otherwise, I would prefer just using the insert hyperlink function. If I go to insert, hyperlink or just use control K to do that. So these are the two ways that you can insert hyperlinks within Excel on the Mac. So I hope that helps.